Hello, welcome to a video uh, giving you a few hints and tips about balance, um, Pilates exercises. Um, the first thing is, you know, if you need to hold on to anything with one or two hands, you can hold on to the wall, both hands if you need to, or the back of a chair, anything if your balance is a bit dodgy, um, just hold on there. Uh, the first uh, little bit is about feet and Underneath your feet you have lots of little muscles and they're working all the time to keep your balance. So if you move one way, the, the muscles all move and um, send little signals to the brain all the time, telling your brain what's happening and the brain sends messages back uh, telling your muscles what to do. So the first strategy that the body uses with balance are your feet and underneath your feet. So the first thing, I'll just pop this down a little bit. And the first thing is to spread your toes out and have a parallel position. So a nice wide position, uh, the three points of balance, think of the base of your little toe, base of your big toe, and in the center at the back of your heel. You want to make a nice platform to stand on. And then uh, being aware of the soles of your feet, just take the weight forward and come back to the center. And take it back, be careful going back center but just do that a couple of times being aware of what's happening underneath your feet and then maybe try going side to side so being aware where your weight is going come back to the center and perhaps try the other side if this if you've got inner ear problems or vertigo or any problems like that um, you know don't do this if it makes you feel bad and then we'll try a little circle. So we'll come back to the center, take the weight forward, round to the side, take it back and to the other side. So just circling round. So you're underneath your feet, the soles of your feet are working all the time to keep your balance. And then we go the other way round. finish that one off and we'll try a squat so when you do a squat again think of the alignment the, the center of your knees over the center of your ankles over your second and third toes so a nice parallel position there um, when you bend think of your tailbone lengthening away lift the chest up and stretch across the chest what we don't want is this kind of position we're aiming for a flat back with the chest lifted We'll just try a couple of those, just breathing out as you squat, breathing in as you come back up again. And then this next time, we'll stay down. And if you take your hands behind you, and do the same movement that we would do in the hundred. So again, you might feel your feet adjusting. The more unstable the surface that you're standing on, uh, the more of a challenge it is for your balance. And you could possibly do, I don't know, up five breaths, up to ten breaths maybe. And we'll just come up for a little breather. And then we'll do our squat again. So breathing in, breathe out as we squat down. And just peeling one heel away peeling it back down again. And same on the other side, peeling it up, peeling it back down again. So kind of like testing your weight, taking your weight a little bit more to your supporting side. And again, hold on if you need to. Just do one more on each side with that one. And then just come up for a little breather. This is also uh, using your legs, it's quite strengthening for your legs. 
So we're going to squat position again. So breathe in, breathe out as we squat down. And this time we're going to lift the foot. So take your weight completely over onto one side, peel your foot away, and then just lift your toe away and hold it for about two breaths. And then peel your foot back down again and then take it over to the other side. So test your weight first, make sure it's all on your supporting side and then peel your foot away. And hold that for about two breaths. And then just peel it back down again and we come up. So any of these balance um, exercises that take your weight forward is, is good because very often if you trip or um, or slip or anything usually you go forward and your hips the next thing that your body uses to keep you stable keep you upright and you don't end up on the floor um, so the squats are quite a good um, exercise but try this one so this is a transfer of weight and uh, hands on your hips out to the side whatever works for you and if you just put your foot in front of your shin rotate a little bit and we'll, we'll take a big step out to the side but keep the leg parallel and then bring the foot back again and then we go the other way so just lift the foot up rotate a little bit great big step and draw this leg back in Great big step. And draw it back in. And do one more on each side. Now this time, uh, try and lift the leg. So carry on with what we've just done if you want to, or this time, big step, and lift the leg, and bring it back. Rotation, big step, lift the leg, and back. Make this next one the last one. Let your rhythm begin to shake. I want to try this one. So uh, we're going to plie in second, and if you bend your knees and we put our hands behind our head, I'm going to try and move this up a little bit. Hands behind the head. Keeping the plie, so keeping everything nice and stable from the waist down, you just curl forward and then tilt over to the side and come back up again. And then go the other way, so you curl forward, tilt over to the side and come back up again. So holding that plie, try and keep the toes, uh, your knees over your toes. also using uh, down in front so quite strengthening for down here and your obliques and we'll just do one more on each side Nice. 
straighten up and then we'll do this one. So give everything a shake, give your arms a shake as well. So I hope there's a few ideas uh, just to help with balance. Um, but you need to train the sort of the, the pathways between your feet and your brain um, so that everything uh, is nice and quick. So that if you should slip or stumble, you know, your body reacts really nice and quickly. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and hope you will do some more soon.